come on. She's the daughter? Not all daytime television blows. Channels are different in New York. Hey, you know I'm... What, why are you wearing a dress? Laundry day. Oh, okay. You know I'm coming home next weekend, right? Yeah. Are you free to hang out? How long's it been? I don't know, like eight months. So are you free? I'm only in town till Sunday night. You have class on Monday? 8 a.m. Fuck, that sucks. <laughs> I know. So you gonna be around? Yeah, but I got a lot of work to do. Spare a couple hours? Well, I can come by after you're done. Are you there? Hey, uh, log on to Facebook real quick. What for? Go to the missing persons page I set up for Chris. Oh, dude. Click on see posts by others. You see that? Which one? The one by Robert Spaulding. What about it? Who is that? I don't know. <sighs> anyway, I, I gotta go. Bye. Okay. I just want to touch base, make sure you're ready for next weekend. Okay, cool. Are you getting comfortable using Mingo? Yeah. So far, so good. All right. Well, I'm going to send you the uh, info for the sting operation soon. You should expect a message from me sometime tomorrow. Okay. All right. Well, make sure you familiarize yourself with the new profile. If you have any questions, just reach out, all right? Okay, got it. What should I do now? Is everything okay? Yeah, just a, an emergency meeting just came up. What happened? I'm sure it's nothing, but look, I gotta run. Just call me on my cell if you need anything, okay? Okay, thanks. Yeah.
She's gone all weekend. Oh, right. Yeah, she is. Okay. Good, because, you know, I, I don't want any surprises. What do you mean? Like, if I come over, it's just going to be you, right? Yeah. Okay. Because I don't want to get in any sort of trouble. What are you talking about? outside when I get there. You don't need to come inside. Why can't you come outside? Just come inside. I want to be home. Okay. Um, I'm going to go now. Uh, okay, so 
Yo, I'll see you tomorrow, though, right? I don't know. I don't know. I'll call you. <laughs> That's awkward. I know, but you just couldn't let it go. I didn't know it was that bad. Right. <laughs> Did you catch this guy? Uh, no. He knew it was a setup. Phone verification is not your thing. Yeah. <laughs> Glad I don't have to do that anymore. And they kicked you off after this incident? Yeah. Fuck. That sucks. <laughs> so how exactly does this whole sting operation work? Well, if they actually show up, it proves that they're gonna do what they said they'd do. Oh, okay. That seems effective. Yeah, has been so far. We'll see how effective it is this weekend. Ouch. Working on the weekend. Uh, just tomorrow. Oh, so you can't meet up because... I don't know. Being a virtual whore is pretty exhausting. <laughs> no problem. Call me when you wake up on Sunday. I'll drop by. Um... Uh... No, it's a mess over here. Man, I don't care about that. I mean, you should see my place here. I only flush when I take a shit. I'm kidding. Are you still there? Hey, hold on. Weird post on Chris's page earlier from that Robert Spaulding guy. I don't know. Maybe. I'm mingling with someone right now who has that exact same name. Isn't that strange? What's also odd is that both of their profiles are blank. There's like nothing on them. listening to me? What the fuck? You always do this. Dude, what is your problem? You always fucking do this. Do what? Why can't you just hold on a second? I told you something important came up. When did you get so self-absorbed? I mean, I get it, but that's not cool. I told you, it's a busy weekend. You and I both know that's bullshit. Your plane's boarding. Can't keep hiding forever. I found mingling with your friends.
You know, you really shouldn't tempt people like that. I doubt the Pierce organization would take too kindly to your approach. Really? What would you know about Pierce? Enough to know they'd probably frown upon you doing the majority of the questioning. I am single-handedly responsible for over a hundred cases in the last three and a half months. My track record proves that I know what I'm doing. Only because these men that you deal with have no self-control. That's bullshit. Is it? There isn't anyone going into this who isn't aware of what they're doing. I suggest you keep it passive and let them come to you. I'll keep that in mind. It's funny how they always seem to flame the adults, isn't it? The adults should know better. And the child shouldn't? No, the child doesn't. That's a tad presumptuous. Is it? I deal with hundreds of these perverts on a weekly basis, and I can assure you they are all fully aware of what they're doing. What if the child does the provoking? Oh, God, give me a break. Your approach could be misinterpreted. All right, well, thank you so much for taking the time to voice your concerns. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have other matters to tend to, so why don't you go fuck yourself? Maybe that's what happened to Kristen. What? What did you just say? She was a master. You could have learned a thing or two from her. Maybe what happened to Kristen? so long that you've forgotten your own sister's voice? Where is she? With me. You know, I've really taken a liking to her this past year, so I decided to give her a voice recorder as a gift. And I must say, some of these recordings are actually quite amusing. Would you like to hear the rest of them? What do you want with her? If you touch her... When I heard how adamant you were about finding her, and it was only a matter of time before you get the Pierce organization involved with her abduction. When you actually joined the organization, well, that was just icing on the cake. I want to see her. If you listen to me, I'll give you a chance to save her. I'm not doing anything until I see her. Ms. Rodiker, you are in no position to make any demands. I am simply giving you a choice. What will it be? What do you want me to do? Attach the webcam from your monitor. And execute a slow, 360-degree pan of your entire room.
it's just me in here. Thank you. Remove the battery. Happy? Ecstatic. For this last step, I will need access to remote desktop connection. Why? We wouldn't want anyone finding out about this, would we? There's nothing you have on there that I haven't already seen. Shall we continue? Now that wasn't so bad, was it? Who the fuck are you? I think it's pretty clear I'm not gonna reveal that to you. Then what do you want? I would like you to lure someone into your sting operation this weekend. Now I understand that there are certain rules and regulations that you must abide by, which could make this a bit of a challenge for you, but I'm sure you can manage. What you're asking for is nearly impossible. I can't say I entirely agree with you. Pierce's rules are incredibly strict. There are specific steps that I need to follow. If I break out of that pattern, someone will get suspicious. You know it's at stake here if you don't do this. Who am I going after? James Renall. He looks harmless to me. Looks to be deceiving. Based on the research I've done so far, he seems very passionate about his career. I'd say your best approach would be to relate to him on that level. What does he do? See for yourself. He's been working in the public sector for the past 16 years. He came up through the ranks and is now responsible for the city of Lynbrook. And has been for the last five. And in all that time, he's been suppressing his deepest and darkest urges. Now, if he finds out you're underage too soon, you'll scare him off. He'll be a little more reserved than the leads you're used to talking to. So take it slow and get in his head first. So he's never gotten caught? Not yet. Does he have any kids? None. Has he ever been married? Once. But that time has long since departed. Where'd you meet him? I haven't. Then how do you know all this? You'd be amazed at what people hide on their computers.
So that's how you found me. Don't worry about all the details, Ms. Rodiker. Well, you obviously have something against this guy. Does it make a difference? You better get started.
knew you had it in you. Kristen's gonna be very happy. You made the right choice. It's been almost five, maybe six months. that he hasn't tried to touch or hurt me. I wonder how much longer it'll be before he lets me go. Stay tuned. What do you want with her? Nothing, Ms. Rodiker. This isn't about Kristen. Everyone is just bait. It's that simple. Christian was bait to get to you. You're bait to get to Pierce. It could have been anyone. Don't think for one second that you or your sister are that special.
get rid of him. He's getting suspicious. Mr. Reno is waiting for your response. Tell Jason that Mr. Reno is a high-ranking official. His arrest will bring great publicity for your organization. Which I'm sure they will appreciate. surprise there.
guy seems perfectly fine to me. The operative word of that sentence is seems. It's obvious you're making me do this because of some personal vendetta. If that's what you wish to believe. You clearly don't have the balls to confront him yourself, which is why you're having me do your dirty work. It must be real easy to hide in the dark and bark orders from behind your computer. You fucking coward. As easy as it is for you to talk to hundreds of strangers online, yet somehow you still can't manage to return your own mother's phone calls. So, who's really the coward here? Fuck you. <laughs> I have nothing against Mr. Reno. We're only using him to sabotage your organization. What the hell are you talking about? This organization helps eliminate the scumbags that pollute our social networks. I don't believe everything you hear. We have an extremely comprehensive set of rules and guidelines we have to follow, which you, by the way, are forcing me to break. Those rules and regulations are just a cover-up for their corrupt practices. I see right through them. And I plan on making an example out of your actions here today. You're using me to take down Pierce. That's correct. Why? That's not your concern. That's easy for you to say you won't be the one suffering the consequences. Which consequence would you prefer? Come on. I can't be held responsible for all this. What's really going on here? Ms. Rodiker. What did they do to you? Ms. Rodiker. Mr. Reno has returned. What would you like to do? online kept me company. I never tried to meet with them. I'm gonna start over. I spent a lot of time alone after school. And the guys I talked to online kept me company. I never tried to meet anyone. I just chatted with them. When I talked to Paul, he was different. He was nice to me. He supported me and I really needed that. Every day after I got home, I knew he'd be there for me. So I decided to meet him. It was a stupid mistake. He's gonna have to find out sooner or later. Choose wisely. None of these are gonna work.
don't scare him off. He blocked me. Letting him go would be ill-advised. He doesn't want to talk to me. Find a way.
Did you know about this? I'm sure he's exaggerating. Exaggerating? Let's not overreact, Ms. Roddicker. You know what? I think I'm reacting just fine. You are blowing things out of proportion. It's pretty fucking obvious what's going to happen here. He's clearly unstable. I don't see how that's any of your concern. You're going to ruin his life. You preemptively ruin lives on a weekly basis. What makes this one any different? He doesn't deserve this. I never said he did. The fact that Mr. Reno is innocent will guarantee the demise of this organization. Intentionally driving an innocent man to the brink of suicide will leave the government no choice but to shut them down permanently. The world will see how far this organization is willing to go to make an example out of one man. Remember how Kristen does it in the video? Okay. Just a little sadder. Got it. Kristen recording, take seven. I'm sitting here thinking about all the events that led me to where I am now. And honestly, I don't know if I would have done anything differently. After Dad died, Mom just couldn't handle it. She needed someone to fill that void. Aaron was never around. And I had nobody else to go to. I know it was stupid for me to meet someone online. I had no idea something like this would happen. But at least he was there for me when I needed him. Even if it was all just a lie. She's a bit melodramatic, don't you think? You disgust me. I'm sorry you feel that way. I guess Mr. Reno isn't the only one who's emotionally unstable. What the fuck is wrong with you? Every action is personally motivated. You of all people should know that, Ms. Rodiker. If Pierce did bust you in the past, or someone close to you, like your brother or your friend, I'm sure they fucking deserved it. When you're done here, you're gonna go back to your shitty little life. No family, no friends, no one to congratulate you on a job well done. Because everyone who was once part of your life pushed you away when they realized there was no hope for you. I pity you. Pity me? That's funny. When we both know these virtual identities that you vicariously live through, are nothing but shadows of your real self. But I'm sure that's how you prefer it. 
because then you don't have to deal with real problems like that of your father. It is my understanding that each remaining member of your family reacted differently to his death. You turned to your friends. Your mother found another man. But who did Kristen turn to? No one. What I find ironic is that Kristen found more intimacy from a stranger she met online than from her own sister. But I'm sure that's because you two barely had a relationship to begin with. Let's face it. Isn't that why you enlisted in Pierce? To right your wrongs? The guilt of not being there? The constant reminder that your neglect is what ultimately drove her away? You're not doing this for her. You're doing this for yourself. I suggest you take a look in the mirror, Ms. Rodiker, before you start making assumptions about others. I can't. I don't want to mess this up. Don't send that. You have an easy opportunity to put his worries at ease. If you send that line, you will screw this up. I can't give myself away after all this. I'm not allowed to talk to anybody over the phone. If a phone conversation is proposed, I'm supposed to transfer the details to another department. Jason will freak if I send him an audio file. Jason is already on board with this. Expose Mr. Reno's true colors, and they will have no reason to question this call. I'm just going to transfer it. No. You will see this through to the end. Figure it out.
Aaron, it's Jason. Listen, there's been a possible intrusion. We just got word that a man has been targeting decoys. We haven't been able to identify him yet, but we do know that his actions will jeopardize our operations this weekend. So, look, if you happen to come across him, you notify me immediately. Do not believe anything that he says. I'm calling all staff members privately in case the accounts have been compromised. Would you call me as soon as possible? Let me know you're okay. Thanks. Pick up the pace. Your sister is waiting. Block him. He'll just find another way to bug me. Tell him you're busy and sign off. If I sign off, Jason will get suspicious. Get back to work. What are you doing? I don't want to get distracted. What if he can't get a hold of you? It's 
Sam. Hi, James. Hey, it's me, Lily. James? You there? Yeah. Hi. Hi. So glad I finally get to hear your voice. Me too. Sorry, I couldn't webcam. I don't know why it stopped working. I barely ever use it. But it's been broken for weeks now. What's wrong with it? I don't know. My computer just stopped detecting it. Did you try fixing it? No, I wouldn't know how. I'm not really good with computers. Which is probably why my cell phone's so out of date. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing right now? Not much. I'm home alone all weekend. My mom's out of the house. Where'd she go? She's working. She'll be out of town until Monday. Oh. But that's okay. I like being alone. Why is that? It's more peaceful that way. Gives me more time to think about things. What are you thinking about? I'm thinking about you. And what you said earlier. Which part? Just how you're feeling about everything. No. Oh. Look, don't take this the wrong way. I know you said you're scared about what might happen, but I'd really like it if we could see each other sometime. Because I enjoy your company. Me too, but wouldn't you rather be alone? I'd rather meet you in person. But the last thing I want to do is make you feel uncomfortable. Sorry, I'll stop bringing it up. No, no, I was under the impression you didn't want to see me. I do want to see you. You do? Yeah. But you're still afraid of what people might think, right? Exactly. I totally get where you're coming from. But like I said before, it's nobody's business but ours, right? You're right. You know, maybe I should come over. That way nobody will get suspicious about anything. Not that there's anything to get suspicious about. Yeah. We'd be in a private setting. Your mom's out of town, so there's no chance of us getting interrupted. Right. Uh, just me and you. Yeah, it'll be nice. We'll keep each other company. Right. So you'll come over this weekend then? Of course. Great. Do you have a pen and paper handy you can take down my address? Hang on one second. What's your address, Lily? Um, James, by the way, maybe you should uh, bring something to keep yourself entertained. You know, in case you get bored or something. Entertained? Like what? I 
don't know. You could bring something to read. You could bring your favorite book. But I have so many to choose from. It'd be hard to find just one to bring. Wow. You really are a bookworm. Now I know why you call yourself Silver Bullet. Maybe I'll bring my entire collection of Stephen King books. Will that work? Yeah, that'd be great. Let me give you my address, you ready? Yeah. I live at 4125 Allendale Road. In Riverside? Yep. Great. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye, James. Thank you, Aaron. You've been a tremendous help. Play the rest of the recording.
Hey.